show it's more structured, but here at night with Shamu, it seems like you guys are having a little bit more fun and just kind of playing around with the rails. Is that true? It is true, but the shows may look structured, and they are, but every show is different. We try to keep it variable and fun and different, so uh, this is just an extension of what a show would be like, or really any other session with the whales get fun and uh, unpredictable. And do you kind of play off like if they seem they're in a playful mood, or can you kind of read their body language as to what type of behaviors they would like to do? Absolutely. Each animal has a different personality, they have different likes and dislikes, and you can tell when they're very interested and when they may be interested in each other, so we definitely play off what they're doing, what they're giving us, and encourage them things they want to do and encourage them to learn new behaviors. And I know a lot of people always think of Shamu, but you've got some individuals here with individual personalities. Um, and now do you all work with all of them or do the trainers each kind of get certain males they work with? We have uh, each we have a small team of animals they'll work with so we can make sure we maintain a strong relationship with each of them, uh, the behavioral goals they're working on. So we may not work with all of them, maybe just a few of them at a time. And I know you've got Makayo, and I think he's going to be two um, yes. next month, correct? Yes. And I kind of noticed we watched him grow up, and he seemed to have an interest even on his own in the trainer. So what is it like when you have a baby that's born here um, and, you know, kind of bringing them into uh, the trainer team? Well, it's great. One of the uh, ways we train them is to take advantage of their natural curiosity. They are interested in each other and in us. So uh, when we get to know them, find out what works for them, what they respond to, what different individuals and rewards they enjoy. Uh, we take advantage of their curiosity and get to know them, simulate them, make learning fun for them, and, uh, and share with them how folks to come here. And um, I know that like people think of the fish as the main reward, but like here you were using jello, ice sure. cubes, tactile stimulation. Um, can you kind of share with people like, you know, what it is like the different rewards that you do? Because I don't think people realize that it's such a wide spectrum. Yeah, you know, they do get food as a reward, but they also get the food regardless of how they perform. So they get their food uh, throughout the day. So we have to vary up other different rewards and find out what they like and, and, and what can motivate them. They like different play toys because they're very curious. They like uh, different, we use fire hoses, different sensations, different brushes on them. And then you can tell, dish them to enjoy them, you can tell them what they enjoy on their own. But again, keeping things variable, very, very uh, interesting, and, and things keep them motivated and they should interact with us. And that made me think of enrichment. I noticed you have toys back there, and I know in underwater viewing it's so much fun because they seem to enjoy um, interacting. So, like, for enrichment, you use toys and any other different things like that? Yeah, you know, the, the, the interactive things that would come up are really limited only by our imagination. We use ice blocks, freeze some toys and ice blocks so when they can interact with them while they melt, and then they can interact with that once it's melted. So, you know, we're constantly challenging ourselves to come up with new and interesting enrichment devices and things that they uh, interact with in their environment. Oh great, and um, do you have a favorite whale? I know it's probably hard because they all have such different fun personalities, but who's your favorite? That's a great question, you know, I, I, I try not to play favorites too much. There are animals that I've worked with and have more history with, uh, but I, you know, it's like children. I really don't have a favorite child either. I, I really love them all the same. They are definitely different. They have different uh, interests. I probably have the most relationship and the most history with the team. Ah, uh, yes. She's the matriarch of uh, uh, yes. yes. And um, yeah, thank you so much for being here with us today. Diamond Shimu. Pleasure of mine. Thanks for coming.